In this video, we're going to talk about how to tell if a function is even, odd, or neither. We're going to talk about how to do it the easy way, and also how to do it the way that your teacher wants you to do it. So let's begin. The first thing you need to know is how to tell if it's even. A function is even if f of negative x is equal to f of x. So if you replace x with negative x, and there's no change, the new function that you get looks exactly like the original function, then it's even. Now what about if it's odd? It's odd if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So that is, if you replace negative x with x, everything in the function, every term has to change sign. If one term changes sign and the rest uh, do not, it's not going to be odd. Now what about the last category? When is a function neither even nor odd? It's going to be neither if you plug in negative x and if you do not get negative f of x. So what does that mean? Well, Let's say if you replace x with negative x and some signs change while others don't, then it's going to be neither. Also, if it doesn't equal f of x2, it's also neither. So it can't equal negative f of x or f of x. So basically, as long as it's not even or odd, it's neither. So let's start with our first example. Let's say that f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 3x squared. So is the function even, odd, or is it neither? Well, here's how you do it the easy way. Look at the exponents. Is 4 even or odd? 4 is an even number. Now what about 2? Is it even or odd? 2 is even. So if all the exponents are even, then the function is going to be even. But now let's prove it. Let's show our work. Let's replace x with negative x. So this is going to be negative x raised to the fourth power plus 3 times negative x squared. Now what is negative x raised to the fourth power? That's basically negative x times itself four times. Negative x squared is negative x times itself two times. Two negatives is a positive. Three negatives will give you a negative result, but four negatives will give you a positive result. Anytime you have an even number of negative signs, it's going to produce a positive sign. So this is going to be positive x to the fourth plus 3x squared. Two negative signs will produce a positive result. Now, notice that the function that we have is the same as the original function. Therefore, this is equal to f of x. So we can make the statement that f of negative x is equal to f of x, which is the definition of an even function. Now, let's try our next example. Let's say that f of x is equal to x to the fifth power plus 2x to the third power. Is it even, odd, or neither? Now, don't worry about the coefficient. This is unimportant. Even though 2 is an even number, that's not going to help us determine if it's even or odd. Look at the exponent. 5, is it even or odd? 5 is an odd number. And 3 is also an odd number. Since all of the exponents are odd, the function is going to be an odd function. And now let's prove it. Let's replace x with negative x. Now, whenever you have an odd number of negative signs, the result will be negative. For example, negative x to the third power. Negative x times negative x is positive x squared times another negative x, that's negative x cubed. So this is going to be negative x to the fifth power minus 2x cubed. And all of that is equal to f of negative x. Now, what should we do in our next step? in order to prove that this function is an odd function. 
what you want to do is you want to factor out a negative 1. If you take out negative 1, negative x to the 5th divided by negative 1 is positive x to the 5th. All the signs will change. Negative 2x cubed will become positive 2x cubed. Now, notice that this portion inside the brackets, x to the 5th plus 2x cubed, is equal to the original function. So at that point, what you want to do is replace it with the original function f of x. So therefore, we can say that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, which is the definition of an odd function. And that's how you can prove it. Now what about this one? Let's say that f of x is equal to x squared plus 6. Is it even or odd? Well, you know x squared is an even component because it has an even exponent. What about 6? Well, 6 is the same as 6x to the 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So x to the 0 is 1, which 6 times x to the 0 is 6 times 1 at 6. And 0 is an even exponent. So the whole thing is going to be even. So let's go ahead and prove it. Now let's replace x with negative x. So this is going to be negative x squared plus 6. Negative x times negative x is positive x squared, so we have x squared plus 6. Notice that the function did not change. So on the right side, we can replace x squared plus 6 with f of x. On the left side, we still have f of negative x. So whenever f of negative x is equal to a positive f of x, then it's an even function. So if you see a number, it's even. Think of that number as being multiplied times x is 0. And 0 is an even number like 2, 4, 6. What about x cubed minus 8x? Is that even or is it odd? Well, whenever you see an x, it's basically x to the first power. Now, 1 and 3 are odd numbers, so therefore this is going to be an odd function. Now, let's prove it. So let's find f of negative x. This is negative x to the third power minus 8 times negative x. Negative x to the third power is negative x cubed. Negative 8 times negative x is positive 8x. So now, notice that all signs change. So to verify that it's odd, take out a negative 1. If we factor out negative 1, it's going to be positive x cubed minus 8x. And as we can clearly see, x cubed minus 8x is basically the same as f of x. So therefore, f of negative x is equal to f of x, which means that it's an odd function. Now, what about this example? x to the third minus 5x squared plus 2. Is it even or is it odd? So notice that 3 is an odd exponent. 2 is an even exponent. Whenever you see even and odd exponents together, you know that it's going to be neither. It's not even or odd. So that's how you can tell when it's neither, but let's prove it. So let's plug in negative x. Negative x to the third power is negative x cubed, and negative x to the second power is positive x squared. So this is what we have. Now, let's check to see if it's an even function. If it's an even function, right now the original function should be the same as a new function. But notice that it's not the same. The sign for x cubed changed, but the sign for x squared and for 2 did not change. So therefore, it's not the same as the original function. So we can make the statement f of negative x does not equal f of x. It's not even. Now, to check to see if it's an odd function, we need to take out or factor out a negative 1. So all the signs will change. Negative x cubed will become positive x cubed. Negative 5x squared will become positive 5x squared. 
and 2 will become negative 2. Now, do we have the same function as the original function? Notice that these two are not the same. x cubed looks very similar. However, negative 5x squared is not the same as 5x squared. So therefore, we could say that f of negative x does not equal negative f of x, which means that it's not an odd function. So if it's not even and if it's not odd, then by default, it has to be neither. So that's how you can prove if it's neither. Now, let's spend a few moments talking about graphs. An even function will be symmetric about the y-axis. An odd function is symmetric about the origin. And if it's not symmetric about the origin or about the y-axis, then it's neither. So let's take a look at x squared. Because it has an even exponent, we know it's an even function. The graph of x squared looks like this. It's basically a u. Let's do that again. It's an upward u. Notice that there's symmetry about the y-axis. So that means that it's an even function. Now, if you have a constant, let's say like 3, that's an even function. f of x is the same as y, by the way. If you were to plot y equals 3, it's going to be a horizontal line at 3. And notice that this line is symmetric about the y-axis. The left side looks exactly the same as the right side. So therefore, a constant, by definition, has even properties. Now, what about the graph x cubed, or y equals x cubed? We know it's an odd function. This graph is an increase in function. It looks like this. As you can see, there's symmetry about the origin. This side in quadrant 1 looks exactly the same, or it looks like a mirror image of the other side in quadrant 3. So that's an example of an odd function. It's symmetric about the origin. And then there's the graph f of x equals x, or y equals x to the first power. 1 is an odd number, but let's see why this function is odd, using a graph. So y equals x is basically a line that increases at a 45 degree angle. And as you can see, it's symmetric about the origin. The side in quadrant 1 looks like the same as the one in quadrant 3. So this symmetry about the origin, which is a property of an odd function. How would you describe a function that looks like this? Is it even, odd, or neither? Now here, there's no symmetry about the x, I mean about the y-axis or the origin. So this is neither. Now what about this one? Is it even, odd, or neither? Notice that the left side looks the same as the right side. So therefore, it's symmetric about the y-axis, which means that it's an even function. Here's another example for you. Determine if this one is even or if it's odd, or if it's neither. Now, it's not drawn perfectly to scale, so use your good judgment. So what would you say? Is it even, odd, or neither? Is it symmetrical about the y-axis, the origin, or neither? It's not symmetric about the y-axis. The right side does not look the same as the left side. However, there is symmetry about the origin. Notice that quadrant 1 looks similar to quadrant 3. Now, this blue line could keep on going down. So, even though the height doesn't seem the same, it can keep going in that direction. And notice that quadrant 4 looks like a reflection of quadrant 2. As you can see, there's symmetry about the origin, which makes this function an odd function. Here's another one for you.
Is this an even or is it an odd function? So notice that the right side looks the same as the left side. Therefore, it's an even function. It's symmetric about the y-axis. What about this example? Is it even, odd, or is it neither? Well, we know it's not even. The right side does not look the same as the left side. And it's not odd. You can clearly see a difference between this section and this section. It's not symmetric about the origin because quadrants uh, 4 and quadrant 2 doesn't have the symmetry about the origin. They don't look the same. So in this case, this function will be uh, neither. It's neither even nor is it odd. Let's try one more example. Now what if we have, let's say, a circle. Let me draw a better circle. It's not perfect, but let's say it's a, a well-rounded circle. Is it even, odd, or neither? Well, the circle does have even properties. As you can see, the right side it looks the same as the left side. This whole side did the same. So there is symmetry about the y-axis. Now what about, about the origin? Is it um, symmetric about the origin? What would you say? Notice that the side in quadrant 1 looks like a reflection as the one in quadrant 3. So there's some symmetry about the origin. And quadrant 2 and 4 are symmetrical about the origin. So this graph is symmetric about the y-axis and about the origin as well. So that is, does that make it even or odd? Now, technically speaking, we can't really say it's even or odd because it's not a function. This function doesn't pass the vertical line test. So we can't say it's an odd function, it's not an even function. Maybe it's neither because it's not a function. So think about that one. 